What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out the derivative of 10 cubed x y squared plus y equals to x. I need to find out dy over dx and I need to use implicit differentiation. The derivative of this part, we know derivative of 10 to the power of n of u, if u is a function of x, is going to be u prime times n times 10 to the power of n minus 1 u times secant squared u. That's going to be the derivative of 10 to the power of n of u. So we do the same thing here. It's going to be xy squared plus y derivative of it times n, which is 3 in this case, times 10 to the power of 2 xy squared plus y times secant squared of xy squared plus y equals the derivative of x with respect to x which is going to be 1. Now the derivative here is going to be we have the product rule here derivative of x is 1 times y squared plus x times 2y dy over dx. That's the derivative of y squared. Plus the derivative of y, which is dy over dx, times 3 times 10 squared xy squared plus y times secant squared xy squared plus y equals to 1. Now I keep these two here and I move this one to the other side. So it's going to be 2xy plus 1. I move the 3 here. 10 to the power of 2xy squared plus y times secant squared xy squared plus y equals to 1 minus y, uh, 3 y squared 10 squared of xy squared plus y times secant squared xy squared plus y. Now, the thing that I forgot to write, this part, it has to be multiplied by dy over dx. Because I factor that one, that's why we have 3 times 2xy plus 1 times this part and this part equals to 1 minus this part times these things here. So then you can say dy over dx will be equal to 1 minus 3y squared 10 squared xy squared plus y times secant squared xy squared plus y divided by 3 times 2xy plus 1 times 10 squared xy squared plus y times secant squared xy squared plus y. So that's going to be the final answer to this question. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. I will leave some related videos and playlists in the description in case you need extra practice question. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding implicit differentiation and other topics in calculus, chemistry, and physics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.